This is a podcast from the Angel News Network with author Joel Anastasi interviewing Ascended Master St. Germain as channeled by Philip Elton Collins. Greetings, beloved humans, upon the surface of planet Earth. This is one of my first messages, I, Ascended Master St. Germain, within your new year. A year bringing support by unprecedented higher realm energies like no other. I ask that you not underestimate the energetic impact of the work that we have done together and the work of other light workers worldwide. Your new USA president is a messenger of the higher realms. His message of unity is one of inclusion, not exclusion. And I shall get into this later, but first let us review why we recreated the refounding of America and divine discussions. These two endeavors supporting your evolution into a higher frequency of existence, assisting in the balancing of your physical being with your eternal soul, in effect, balancing the macro and the micro, which is what life is all about on your planet. Much of what we discussed has come to pass, realizing I cannot tell you what to do nor predict the future that would be an infringement of your free will. And of course, further explaining what the role of the United States of America and you represent within all of this. The most essential things to remember about our work together, dialogues between humans and an ascended master, is that you know you have never been alone in the process of being human, and you never will be. There are seen and unseen support systems built into creation based upon the love of you. Our endeavors further explain how and why the United States of America was created with the vital assistance of some unseen forces. The USA is a major ingredient within the ascension process of humanity and the planet based upon love allowing equality, harmony, and balance. Your divine destination your divinity. USA is literally an energetic beacon of light to the world that requires the participation of all of you. As you have heard many times, democracy is not a spectator sport. Each nation has a soul plan and a karma to work through. It is, this, it is essential to know that creation and reality are always in divine order and know perfectly well how to balance themselves independent of human behavior, or shall I say, in spite of it. Your recent election reveals this truth. It is time to imagine and manifest, if you so choose through your free will, to choose to become fully conscious, applying the higher realm perspectives and wisdom and making new choices. Our two endeavors are filled with the necessary tools to achieve this. What most recently focused the citizens of the United States and the world on America's spiritual mission has been the presidency of the divine soul, the one you call Donald Trump, which became one of the greatest threats to the survival of your democracy since your country's founding. You have now seen he and his supporters attempt to overthrow a fair election and attack the U.S. Capitol. And I'm, and I'm not going through all of his illegal, undemocratic actions throughout his term, with so far few consequences. There now needs to be consequences to this behavior to prevent future repeats as you continue to heal as a nation, and later I shall give you some suggestions how to do that. The sole mission of your past president was to reveal to bring up each and every wound of humanity in order for it to be released and healed. All the wounds and ego defenses of humanity are are now on the raw surface. The healing process will be in process for quite some time, but it is a necessary aspect of your ascension process of humanity. The tools you need are once again being given to you from the higher realms. Are we ready to receive your final golden age on this earth? Each prior golden age died due to the disconnect from the higher realms with mankind thinking it could do it another way. 
as your nation and world continue being in crisis and chaos, remember these are the key components for creating a new paradigm. You are being given the choice to create an enlightened nation and world supporting the common good of all or regress into authoritarian regimes in which the few control the many and your planet has seen plenty of this. Remember, you cannot control what you did not create. The ascension of the planet is assured and this ha can happen with or without humanity. Shall I ask you, what do you choose on your path at this time? Our first endeavor, the refounding of America, began with the codes of creation to ascend. In that, teaching alone is all you need to simply move forward. I am the Ascended Master who is serving as the guardian of humanity during the final 2000 year Aquarian age of the balancing of your planet. Remember, your one called Jesus ushered in the Piscean age. Now your nation and world are experiencing one of the deadliest global health pandemics in modern times, a worldwide economic recession and severe constitutional and legal threats. All of this is a cosmic intervention and our teaching tools to empower you forward, not a punishment. It is what humanity needs to create a permanent healing. Other smaller actions were tried and did not work. Since there is not much time remaining in your planetary final 2000 year ascension cycle, extreme measures were necessary to be expedited at this time for your highest good. Remember, we talked about the three one-third groups on your planet. One-third is waking up and being and doing the necessary work to create a new paradigm. One-third is resisting and holding on to the old paradigm, what you call white supremacy groups. And one-third is asleep and has no idea what is going on. It is your choice, it is your responsibility if you choose for those of you who are awake to assist and serve the others who are not. Do not think of them less where they are, but assist and serve them. If you resist them, they will persist. This brings us back to my opening statement about your new president being a messenger of unity, one of inclusion, not exclusion. Democracy, democratic governments were always meant to be in a state of advancement to match the process of the planet and humanity. As we have stated before, it is time for the USA government to have a reset and upgrade by redefining the powers of the executive branch in one person. Perhaps a committee of three, which we recommended earlier. Change the structure of Congress so that what has happened will not happen again. Supporting a rogue president with a rogue Congress. And you may wish to rethink the Electoral College. Now here are my final suggestions. As you know, the beginning of all healing is being heard and included. Since your nation remains divided in many ways and a large group voted to continue what dangerously was, largely through ignorance, non-truths and emotions, do not discount them now. They are not going away. In fact, they are growing and regrouping as we speak. It is essential not to ignore them. As we merge spiritual science and natural science and government and apply universal laws and karma, karma, here's another overview and suggestion or two from which to choose or not. It is fear, absence of love, of change that is empowering the resistance groups, your so-called far-right and white supremacy groups. The basis of all this is the imbalance of the masculine and feminine energies which need to take place to move forward. The change that they fear is in process and cannot be stopped. Yes, as stated earlier, there need to be consequences for illegal behavior for sure, but it is time to include, not exclude, those wounded individuals in the national dialogue. Allow them to become part of your government, not exclude from it, and hear their voices in high and low places. Surround them with love, not being the enemy but a diversified aspect of humanity screaming to be heard, screaming to be healed, screaming to be loved. Now let us open to our questions and answers. Good morning, St. Germain. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Uh, you covered so much ground. Um, 
I don't want to uh, confuse things by trying to get into too many pieces. I first of all want to acknowledge that we began our, co our conversations ex just about exactly four years ago this month, January 2017. And um, you told us that we would be entering a period of, of chaos with the presidency of Donald Trump. And um, you told us that it would serve as a wake up to uh, uh, Americans who were not fulfilling the mission of America, which was to bring peace, love, equality, harmony, and balance to the world. Well, uh, we've certainly been awakened, and we did enter that period of chaos. And for many of us, it looks like uh, America is in a shambles right now. Um, so your, your perspective certainly is very valuable. Before I ask you some specific questions, do you want to make any comments about America it looks like it's in a shambles right now? It is anything but in shambles. It is a balancing of the positive and the negative. Look what just happened with your recent elections. Everything shifted from one to the other, from the old to the possible new. That is not being in shambles. That is process moving forward. You uh, re referred um four years ago, and you did again today, that Trump was serving to bring up the, 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 the wounds and ego defenses of humanity. Without getting too complicated, can you help our listeners understand what you're referring to when you refer to, to those wounds and ego defenses? Yes, it's whatever each individual experienced within their maturation process, their growing up process supporting their inner wounded child that did not receive what it needed. As a result of that, you develop these defenses around those wounds in order to survive being human in this particular incarnational cycle. So they looked at the one who was their leader and they saw that he was like them and they supported him irre irregardless of the danger that he presented to the democratic process. When you say that we are providing tools to lead to a permanent healing, let's explain that too to our listeners. Look at the codes of creation to ascend. Look within our manuscript, the ingredients that have created tyrants and dictators throughout the history of the planet. All of this are the tools that are necessary. The seven discourses employing the I am presence, your internal Christ consciousness presence, the violet flame, a form of energy to clear and cleanse the old. All of these are tools readily available in what we have created together. Okay, I, I, I just want to reinforce what you've just said, that uh, The Refounding of America um, was a book that we put together and published in 2019 that pulled together all of the teachings that you've just referenced and then in the recent months, we published the Divine Dialogues, which are a companion to the creation of the Refounding of America that expands on many of the teachings you've just referred to that are in the Refounding of America. Exactly. Um, in a ice modern English version, in the most simple, simplified format possible, all of this has been represented to humanity in order for easier access and integration. You know, I just wanted to make an observation about the book. Um, I, I just uh, went through um, most of it, especially section one, which was the focus on the awakening of my uh, divinity and my own personal story. Um, and I was looking at it from the perspective of now the Trump presidency is over. So I was looking back to see how well it kind of pulled it together um, the, the, the beginning of the Trump presidency and, and our attempts to divine what the purpose was. And then it was defining the experience of what we were experiencing with Trump and it helped prepare us to assess and understand what the value of that experience is. And my own personal observation is that in about 120 pages, it really does all of that in a really clear way. And I would encourage, encourage listeners to take a look at it because it's a wonderful healing, t healing tool. That was the meaning, value, and purpose of beginning the project 
from the very beginning, that it would be accessible through telling the, your story, the channel story, my story, and how that relates as the three of us were serving as proxies for humanity. You know, the, um, the, the, the House of Representatives impeached Trump for a second time, and today they're sending um, that on to the Senate where the actual trial will occur. I understand the trial will begin the first week of February. Many Republicans are saying that uh, we ought to just kind of let it go. It, it, it's sort of like throwing gasoline on a fire, and they're trying to uh, minimize the idea that there should be any consequences to uh, Trump. What would you say about that? They are fearful that the process of the trial will also reveal their behavior and put threats within their careers is the reason they are feeling that way. It is not that they care to protect the individual called Trump. It is a fear of how such a trial could impact them since many of them enabled his behavior. I heard one commentator, one um, individual who had been with the Department of Justice in prior administrations say that uh, to um, they, uh, he was referring to one statement by one senator that we have a roaring fire here and uh, a trial would just be throwing um, gasoline on the fire and, and the official's re response was and then we're going to let the guy who started the fire go? No. There must be consequences in order to move forward for the ascension process of the individual and the collective consciousness in relationship to the ascension process of the planet. Far too long this individual you call Trump has not experienced consequences balancing the equation of responsibility equals consequence in his life. It is his karmic disposition to do so at this time. You're well aware that um, there's, uh, um, in the Republican Party, the support for Trump is still astonishingly high, and a disturbing percentage of Americans supported the sacking of the Capitol building. And um, so I found it, I mean, it's very challenging you know, to know how to live with that, and I thought that your instructions were particularly important about allowing these people to be heard and to surround them with love and um, surround their wounds with, with love. Uh, let's Do just... not exclude them. Had it be inclusive, and that is what your new president is, is offering through unity, bring them in to the dialogue. That does not mean there should be consequences for their illegal, unconstitutional behavior. Not at all. But allow them to know that they can be brought into the dialogue, that the light of their needs of what they're asking for, the fear of change, the fear of the white man no longer being the dominant controlling force of the planet is coming to an end. Allow them there will still be a safe haven for them when that change takes place, and it surely will take place. Allow their fear, which is an absence of love, to be surrounded by allowing them to be heard, asking them what they need bringing them into the dialogue. I think your new it, president has the capacity and the personality and the spiritual programming to be able to do that. He is a master of bringing both sides together with opposing views and asking them in a fatherly, a grandfatherly capacity, how may I help you? What do you need? His repeated voice has been, even for those of you who did not vote for me, I will be your president. I will prove that to you. What is being discussed now is a vehicle to that. Well, you, you, you just uh, addressed what I had wanted to bring up because I, I heard what you referred to Biden as being. You called him a messenger of unity. A messenger of the higher realms through unity, yes. He is unconsciously at time and consciously at others through his religion, realizing that the principles of some religions, which are spiritual truth, need to be employed at this time. Through loss and life's experiences himself and the longevity of this divine soul, 
He brings that compassion. He brings that wisdom into it. He is not asking you to believe that he is the Father to take care of you and fix everything. He is asking you to become part of the solution. One of the observations you made in your comments was that um, much of this healing will come only with the balancing of the masculine and the feminine energies. And I was watching a program this morning that was highlighting over the past several years the role that the feminine was playing and that it was the feminine that was standing up to Trump much more the, than the, the masculine. So it just kind of reinforces what you just said. Why, why don't you speak to that for a minute? Because, because it's so fundamental and so important. The shift will come from the women of the world, the necessary shift in the creation of the new paradigm of equality, harmony, and balance based upon universal love. The feminine energy has been subjugated by the masculine energy, and then through that subjugation, the pain of that experience, they had built an energetic download of exactly what is necessary to free themselves from that continuing. The voices of the women of the world will be heard. If you look at your current government, if you look at the individuals who are really leading the way within it, you will find that it is a diversified version of women, largely at play. Women are being selected and stepping in positions that they have never held before. If you have a body that can create other life, within it is a sacred download that connects you to the Akashic Records, that connects you to the Hall of Records, that you can learn to access as a feminine energy and employ those wisdoms out to humanity at large. When you define the third, the third, the third, uh, about the, uh, one third are those who are awake, uh, one third are those who are resisting, and one third is sleep. As you were talking about the role of the feminine energy, I was thinking that they hold the biggest prospect for awakening the third that are asleep. See them as a mother energy, awakening the sleeping child to nourish, to feed him, to give him what he needs, since he is so dependent upon her at that point. And in order to rear him, as an adult to set him free on his own. See that picture before you. There was a discussion this morning br briefly about John F. Kennedy's book Profiles and Courage and they pointed out a few people like uh, Liz Cheney and, and Romney who have been willing to stand up. Um, one could say that it's depressing that so few have, um, but on the other hand, um, I have a sense that we're, as, as, the, as the impeachment trial progresses and more and more evidence comes forward, um, there's going to be a greater understanding of the culture of lawlessness that was really around um, uh, President Trump and the number of people who were really involved in um, undermining the missions of the uh, government organizations that, that, were, that uh, they were part of. Um, that more and more people will have the courage to stand up. More and more will be revealed soon, and they will see that your president at that time was actually directing the entire operation, and that there was a master plan that will be revealed. And you will see the corrupt forces, not only within the Capitol Police, but within Congress themselves, who were taking those orders in your vernacular and executing them. It was through the intervention of we of the higher realms that lives were not lost en masse in Congress. We came in, we energetically intervened. Wow, that's quite a revelation because as we were getting more and more information, we were getting video of what was actually going on in the Capitol building during the insurrection. We could see that uh, it was virtually just minutes uh, that that s separated um, s safety from disaster. Yes, they were protected in your vernacular. So, so you're saying this was really an organized conspiracy of to a much greater degree than we realized, in involving uh, the Congress, police, and the president. Absolutely. 
this will come out within the trial and the American people, the majority of the American people will see the threat that it posed and if it had succeeded how it would have undermined the democratic process and government in the United States of America that is when we stepped in. So that could have really um, destroyed at least temporarily the mission of the United States and there was no way the higher rounds were going to allow that. Could have set it back in your vernacular two generations. Wow. With the time that is taking place with the ascension process in your December 2012 when you began your final 2000 year cycle there was no longer time to go back two generations in order to move forward. At this point, it is essential that the process continue forward. It's why your executive and your Congress were all flipped to a, in order to create a new regime. St. Germain, it was just a few months ago that you made a very powerful statement. You said that mankind was on the verge of the greatest awakening in human history. Yes, this is true. Can you feel that taking place now? I can, and of course America, as uh, you have said many times, would be instrumental in that, in that movement. What other country where it could take place? As I stated earlier, each country has a soul plan, has a karmic consequence to work out. But the sole plan of the United States is to be a beacon of light, it is to bring in all the diversified versions of humanity through your open shores, which have been reopened again now with the new administration. So the that, United States, the hope and the promise of the world. So that awakening of mankind with America leading it, um, uh, in order for that to happen, the higher realms really did have to intervene, didn't they? That is what we're here for. It has to be a crisis. It has to be really important in your vernacular for us to receive a dispensation through a council meeting to make such a decision and an action, yes. So there was a dispensation for your intervention? There was. You've talked about the high vibration energies that have been coming in, could you just uh, give a simple statement about the role of those high vibration energies into uh, the earth plane at this time? It is to assist in the awakening of those who are still asleep. It is to further awaken your consciousness through that awakening, to allow through your heart space the integration of the wisdom of the higher realms that know exactly how to balance themselves. These new energies, which began in August of your last year, continue to flood the earth plane into your new year of 2021, allowing the awakening of more and more so that you can become two thirds of you awake in supporting the new paradigm. Again, it is important not to abandon those who are not awake. It is important not to resist them because if you resist them, they persist. Bring them into the dialogue as we have discussed. Well, St. Germain, we've, we've uh, managed, I think, to kind of give a, provide a greater understanding of all the dynamics at work here before we finish our conversation. How would you like to pull it all together? Remember, beloved humans, on the surface of the earth, we ascended masters who once walked the surface of the earth as you do now. Remember that the ascension of your planet into a higher frequency of existence is, is assured. And this can happen with or without humanity. We had some technical issues, but here are the last couple of sentences of the podcast, beginning with St. Germain. So I ask each and every one of you with your individual soul plans moving into the collective soul plans of the planet, what do you choose to be an aspect of that ascension or not? Thank you, St. Germain. You're welcome.